don't think I can get in here. Also, he, okay. They don't like this place. How do I get out? I remember thumb something. Ach, du verarschst mich doch. But Hansel and Gretel were too clever for their mean old stepmother. They had sprinkled breadcrumbs in the forest behind them as they walked. And the clever children followed the breadcrumbs straight back home. What stepmother mean? It means that she wasn't the real mama. Why? Because if she was the real mama, she'd never want to lose them out in the woods. She just wants to give them big tickles. Come here, you! <laughs> Mama! Mr. Eddings, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some follow-up questions back at the station. Of course. A anything I can do to help. And Miss Castellanos, I know you've had a rough day. I have some questions for you, too, but they can wait for tomorrow. Do you have a car? Or? No, I ride the subway. That's right. And you said that's where the two of you met. This morning. Okay, we gehen erstmal nach rechts. No, no, no. Okay. Sag mal, was sind denn das für Lüftungsschächte? Äh, Schächte. Ganz ehrlich. Was ist denn das für ein Haus? Nein, da wieder nicht. An der Kreuzung einfach geradeaus. Mal gucken, ob wir da weiterkommen. Where 
Where's my mom? Mi sobrina. Why can't I see her? She's not... She's gone, Anna. She's with the other angels. Wir gehen nicht da drauf. Das ist... Das tötet mich bestimmt, ne? Wir gehen mal zurück. Nee, runter. Wir kamen von oben, also gehe ich jetzt runter. Gehen wir hier einmal lang. Obwohl doch, ich glaube, das könnte richtig sein. Vorhin war das auch richtig. Oder? So, jetzt sind wir nämlich hier unten. Ein bisschen creepy. Okay, da geht es einfach nur im Kreis. Ist, ist, ich glaube nicht, dass das real ist. What's this feeling, was? Ich will noch in den letzten Raum. Ich will noch die letzte Erinnerung haben. Gestern Abend noch ein, dein Far Cry 5 Koop Stream mit Hummy geschaut. Das Spiel macht echt mega Spaß. Das ist richtig. <lacht> es macht ultra viel Spaß. Aber freut mich, wenn es auch Spaß macht zuzugucken. Es ist ja so äh, Hummys Far Cry Entjungferung, kann man das so nennen? Was meinst du gerade gelacht? Achso. Okay, ich glaube, der Papa hatte so ein leichtes Alkoholproblem, nachdem seine Frau gestorben ist. Nee, warte, warte, warte. Wir gehen einfach mal weiter geradeaus.
Okay, jetzt sind wir wieder bei dem Teddybär. Oh ja, hier, guck mal. Oh ja, Far Cry 6. Ich hoffe, es wird gut, aber ich gehe ziemlich davon aus, dass es gut wird. So, wir sind ja die ganze Zeit gerade ausgegangen, das heißt... Mal erwähnt, dass ich Labyrinthe hasse. Gerade dieses Labyrinth finde ich echt creepy. <lacht> Dream Master. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, I remember something. The Cypher? Was? Dammit, I must have left my cell phone in the kitchen. I can't let them get in here. Oh no, damn. Was? Ich kann die nicht. And so, if you use the key we just made to decode the message... Anna Angel, I got it! There you go. You'll be a cryptologist in no time. Time to write your Unicode, Uncle Hobby. Push. Uh, right. Okay, the window I can climb out onto the fire escape. Yeah, ja, dann mach das doch. Ich habe gerade wieder so Kindheitsflashbacks. This fucking city. Okay, quickly. Broken ladder. Mechanismus. Okay, dann gehen wir aufs Dach. Fuck, ich weiß, was ich tun muss. Okay, ich muss von unten, weil das eh kaputt ist. Ähm, das Ding zum Drehen mitnehmen. Damit ich das oben anbasteln kann. Ja, ist ja gut. So, jetzt wieder ab nach oben. G. 
gehe nach oben, verdammt. Nein, stopp, stopp. It is locked. Oh, bitte. Sie geht nicht wieder runter. Ich habe Metal Door, Emergency Exit, not for Emergency Entrance. Sounds like Help Somebody I might cut myself, but I find something to use it on. Arschloch. Cut the rope. Hmm. Dum dum dum. Anna. Ed, detective. We're gonna get you out of here. Come on, let's go. Are you okay? I will be. Thanks. Who was that <laughs> man? And yeah. why was he chasing me? I don't know, but listen. We need to get rid of him. I don't see anybody. If someone was following us, we must have lost him. Well, that's something at least. We're going to stay here for a little while, figure out what to do. You're safe with me, Anna. Look, I'll just go and call this into the station. We can dust your apartment, figure out who that scumbag was. No. Ed. Anna, the note we found in your uncle's journal... What? What note? What are you not telling me? Anna. Maybe we should trust him, Ed. What note? It's up to you. I don't think we have a choice, Ed. We're in way over our heads. We need to trust somebody. Look, you might not know it yet, but I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> so how about some answers? Okay, okay. You're both right. I'm sorry we were keeping you out of the loop, Detective, but we had to. You had to, huh? We found this note from my uncle. And you thought this meant me? We couldn't be sure. Look, that explosion in the lab was no accident. Dr. Morales was working on a powerful new technology, and someone used his own technology to kill him. If Dr. Morales has a vault somewhere with more of this technology contained inside, we need to secure it before anyone else can get to it. I really should report this. No, you can't do that. If Morales was right, and someone on the force was after him... Please, Detective, just give us 24 hours. Help us. Surely you've broken a few regulations in your time. Ah, well, you got me there. 
24 hours. No more secrets. Deal. Good, because I got a couple questions need answering. Ask away. You'd better tell us what all the hubbub is about. What did Morales create? I'll show you. Using the lab's super collider, Dr. Morales discovered a new type of twin particle. The particle always comes in pairs, a positive and a negative, yin and yang. Bound together, they form the substructure of the electron. These two particles actually occupy the same space by vibrating through space-time. We call this vibration resonance. Let's uh, pretend that all made sense. What's the big deal? The big deal isn't knowing that these particles exist, it's in what you can do with them. Dr. Morales was designing resonance devices that could neutralize the effect of resonance, allowing you to separate the twin particles. Two particles, two devices. You can place these devices some distance apart and then release the particles trapped inside. The particles instantly snap back together, collide in the exact center, and release a large amount of energy. Anything within a certain area of effect is completely pulverized at an atomic level. The further you pull the particles apart before disabling the devices, the larger the area of effect. In fact, uh, Dr. Morales and I developed a precise formula predicting the inverse relationship. All right, all right. So you take two devices, separate them, and when you shut them off, whatever's in the middle goes boom. Well, yeah. You could have just said that. <laughs> so what's in this vault? I didn't even know of its existence until earlier today, so I can't be sure. But I'm guessing it's a repository of all his research into resonance particles, including his designs for the resonance devices used to separate them. Maybe even prototypes. Whatever is in it, it's dangerous in the wrong hands. And now that Dr. Morales is dead, it's just out there waiting to be found. But we're gonna be the ones to find it. So what you're saying now is that the explosion in Morales' lab was not an accident. The way that hole was cut out of the lab, it had to be a resonance weapon. But Dr. Morales couldn't have caused it himself. An event of that size would require two very precisely placed devices miles apart with the lab in the center. This was no accident. So what would a resonance weapon look like? Dr. Morales was designing these resonance devices for peaceful applications. But, weaponizing them would be fairly simple. The devices would be pretty small, softball size maybe. By placing a device on either side of a target, calculating the distance required to achieve the intended area of effect, and synchronizing their release with some kind of uh, radio detonator. Or a cell phone. Sure, or a cell phone. You could take out anything you wanted to. So I could place resonance devices, say, in a doorway, and vaporize someone's heart as they walk through. Well, <laughs> it's not technically vaporizing. Well, pull them farther away and erase the whole building from existence. I suppose. If I mounted these things on planes or satellites, just how big could you make this blast? There's no theoretical limit. My god. So this vault has to be destroyed. What? No! Unlimited destructive power. Are you kidding me? No, that's only if the technology is used incorrectly. Anna, your uncle wanted these resonance particles to bring about a new age of peace and human prosperity. Imagine it. Unlimited clean energy, faster than light travel, instant communication over unlimited distances. This was your uncle's dream. You can't let that die. No, I'm not gonna let you put this woman in danger. Or did you already forget that someone tried to kill her tonight? Enough! All this talk is pointless unless we find the vault before the people who killed my uncle do. My uncle left this task to me with his last words. So whether we destroy the vault or make sure the research gets into the right hands, the choice is mine. Is there a problem with that? Good. Now, Ed, how do we find this vault? Well, um, my best guess is... Shut up. Get behind me. Ooh, Come Jake on, this paperwork. Okay, okay. Don't shoot. I'm coming out. This is still wieder der Typ aus der Straße, der. 
I told you someone was following us. Who are you? My name is Ray. Ray Abbott. I was just walking through the park. Is he with them? With who? I swear, I'm alone. Wait a second. You walk by us in the hospital. Were you listening to us there, too? Okay, look, I'm a journalist. The Abbott Post? Online? I was at the hospital working on another story, and I heard the two of you talking about this vault and how the police may be involved. I smelled the story, so I followed you guys. Ray Abbott, I've seen his picture in the news. You're the guy who wrote that story about the vice president. One in the same. Great, a fucking blogger. <laughs> Investigative <laughs> journalist? I want to help you. No, no more people. It was supposed to just be Anna and me. Well, I guess if I can't stick around, I could just run with what I've got so far. You son of a bitch. Look, you don't know it, but you need me. Yeah, right. You need information, right? Well, that's my bread and butter. I have contacts. People who live under the radar, you need to know something, they can get it. Crooks, you mean. I've exposed more bad guys than you ever will. Now look here. No, he's right. We need his help. You sure? Yes. And if there is corruption in the police force, we could use his blog to help expose it. It's not a blog. It's a reputable news source. I swear to God, if you step out of line... I get it. You can trust me. The day I trust a muckraker like you. Guys, we're not gonna get anything done tonight. There's a motel on the corner. Let's cool off, get some rest, and think about our next move. We'll regroup right here in the morning. Agreed. Schnacks in? Oh, come. What the... The reporter is following you. Get rid of him. Hey. Give that back. That's none of your business. Um, ich habe Fragen. All right, let's go over this plan. Ed? To find and open Dr. Morales' vault, we need three things. One, the vault is most likely hidden somewhere inside Juno Laboratories. My guess is it's in one of the many underground tunnels. So, we'll need a blueprint of the lab. Blueprints of all major buildings are on file in the city archives, which is in the police administration building. Mm-hmm. Ed's apartment, Juno Laboratory, baseball field... Two. Even with the blueprints, we're going to need some kind of information on the vault to help us figure out exactly where in the lab it might be. Jimmy Olsen? It's simple, detective. We follow the money. Somebody had to build this vault, and it probably didn't come cheap. I have a contact at the National Credit Service. He can get anyone's financial transaction history. If we can find the guy who sold Morales the vault, maybe they can help us find it. Hmm. Anna's apartment, baseball fields, hospital, National Credit Systems? And three, we need to figure out how to open the vault. Anna, that part's up to you. My uncle's last words were, your uncle holds the key. Besides Javi, I only had one other uncle. He's buried near my parents in All Saints Cemetery. There may be a clue about this key there, but... Ed, I'd like you to come with me. Oh, uh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right, we'll hmm. split up. Remember, no talking to police and no posting stories on your blog. It's not a blog. Good luck, everyone, and thank you. Okay. Jetzt sind wir also ein Quartett. So is this a typical day for you, Ray? Hm? You know, poking your nose where it doesn't belong. I belong here as much as you do. For now, maybe. Unterhalten die sich einfach, wenn ich hier jetzt so stehe? So Ray, just what were you doing at the hospital yesterday, anyway? Oh, uh, 
Ray, we all have to trust each other here. Fine. I was up on the research projects floor. Something really anomalous is going on up there. Anomalous? It's a word. Nee, hätte ich jetzt nicht gedacht, dass das ein Wort ist. Okay, warte mal. Ich, ich, ich warte einfach ein bisschen. Mal gucken, was sonst noch passiert. Detective Bennett, if we find the guy who killed Uncle Javi, what happens? Simple. We nab him, tag him, and bag him. Was? Even if we don't have proof. Just let me worry about that. Der Papierkram, ich sag's doch, der Papierkram. Anna, when this is done, could you give me the scoop on your uncle? I haven't spoken to him since I was a kid. Even better, a first-hand account of what he was like back in the day. The personal touch is vital in a human interest story like this. I'm not here to make your career, Ray. We've all got our reasons for being here, Anna. This is mine. Was für ein Arsch. Ed hat noch nichts gesagt, ne? Ed ist sehr ruhig. Ed ist der Mörder. Ähm. <lacht> Einfach alle so dastehen. I've seen your site, Ray. It's very impressive. Thanks. Do you have any favorites? I can't speak for myself, but the one about anesthetic and mind control was a big hit with one of the nurses. Oh, really? What's her phone number? His name is Tom. I can introduce you if you want. Never mind. <lacht> Schön. Sowas funktioniert nur, wenn man nicht gendert. Das ist ein Witz, der funktioniert nur dann. Kommt jetzt noch was? So, Anna. You handle yourself pretty well on that fire escape. You think so? I was scared out of my mind. Of course you were, but you didn't let it control you. You'd make a good cop. Huh, seriously? Sure. Haven't Sie you ever wanted to put the holes in the bad guys instead of patching them up? I have to admit it's tempting, but no. I'm happy where I am. Huh. Ich finde übrigens, an den Hintergründen sieht man, dass äh, doch mehr Details drin sind hey, als Bennett, in so einem 90er-Spiel, ne? It's been years since I was on a baseball field. I'm afraid my ballplaying days are long gone. You're more the eat hot dogs from the bleachers type these days, huh? Just what are you implying? Nothing. Nothing. <lacht> okay, ich find's gerade ganz geil, einfach nur hier zu stehen und mir das anzuhören, ne? Und immer, wenn ich denke, es geht nicht mehr weiter, kommt noch was. Ed hat immer noch nichts gesagt. Detective Bennett, why would the police be after Uncle Javi? Who says they were? The note we saw. Means nothing. Until I see proof, it means nothing. You got that? Of course. Sorry I brought it up. Hm. So how long have you been on the force, detective? Fifteen years, give or take. Why? Just want to get all my facts straight. If you write about this, you don't refer to me by name. Got it? Don't worry. Your secrets are safe with me. Er ist schon ein Journalist. Natürlich wird er das irgendwie verwerten. Huh. Was ist das jetzt? Ob hier jemals jemand zehn Minuten gestanden hat, nur um sich die ganzen Dialoge anzuhören? I don't know. 
Äh, Overwright, Sief. So. Das war, ähm, okay. Ich glaube, ich, glaub, ich habe mich nicht ganz dumm angestellt, nur ein bisschen vielleicht. Nur ein bisschen vielleicht. Äh, ach, gucke. Nice. Ähm, ich schicke euch mal zu einem bisschen... Leichte Startschwierigkeit. Ey, hör mir auf. Hör mir auf. Dieses Kackrätsel, ne? Genauso auch mit dem, mit dem verbrannten Kabel. Ey. Ey. Ich krieg zu viel. Da krieg ich Plack. Da krieg ich einfach Plack. Das. Nee. Äh, Ray. Er mir unterstrich Barschur. Nur ein klein wenig. Ich wäre da einfach raus. Baschur, so, so gut solltest du mich mittlerweile kennen, dass ähm, mich sowas nicht davon abhält, weiterzumachen. Venture wie? Äh, bam. Ihr Lieben, ich schicke euch zu einem äh, netten Gruselstream. Es ist heute nicht Hannes, wenn ich das richtig gesehen habe, aber ich meine, der... Er mir unterstrich Barschur. Wünsche euch dann noch einen großartigen Abend und später eine mega gute Nacht. Das wünsche ich auch. Wir sehen uns gerne am Mittwoch wieder. Und äh, lasst euch nicht ärgern. Bleibt gesund und tut nichts, was ich nicht auch tun würde. <lacht>